Uh, what, what scientists and people think about the first Americans is that they were uh, people who came from Asia. They came into Alaska, uh, across the Bering Land Bridge during the last ice age. Uh, the earliest people were Clovis people, and they made a very distinctive type of uh, artifact we call a Clovis projectile point. And uh, we presume that their ancestors would have made something very similar. Clovis people used the bifacial technology, uh, which is a, an artifact that's flaked on both sides, uh, like an arrowhead, but very distinctive with flutes on the bases. We find them from coast to coast uh, here in North America and from uh, southern Alberta clear down into uh, Venezuela. So we expected to find them in Alaska and Siberia, but in all the work uh, we did up there, we never found anything similar. In fact, the technology in Northeast Asia is one where they use tiny microblades that are inset into bone and ivory projectile points and knives. Totally different philosophy. We went to look at a site discovered near Cactus Hill, Virginia, and uh, the site had a Clovis occupation, and it had another occupation below Clovis that dated maybe uh, 4,000 years older than Clovis. And they had projectile points similar to Clovis, but they were not fluted. And I said, oh, this is what we're looking for. This is the ancestor of Clovis. We realized almost immediately we were looking in the wrong direction. And our ancestors to Clovis were here on the, on the east coast of North America. And where did they come from? They certainly didn't come from Siberia. The Salutrian technology in southwestern Europe looks uh, very similar to Cactus Hill. It is a bit older, but uh, it's clear there's a technological relationship. They're making their stone tools the same way. If there had been a crossing from uh, Europe to North America, that would explain the evidence uh, that we're finding uh, at Cactus Hill and how it relates to the Salutrian. We know that uh, boats have been known uh, for at least 40 to maybe 60,000 years. And with the uh, drop in sea level of 250 feet or so during the last ice age, and the fact that Europe was connected to North America uh, by a, an ice bridge, basically, and people with boats could be hunting uh, for uh, sea mammals along that ice edge uh, and do quite well. So what we've been doing is looking for more sites and uh, we're finding many sites in the Chesapeake region that uh, are supporting that hypothesis. 20,000 years ago, the Chesapeake Bay didn't exist. It was the Susquehanna River and the Susquehanna River drained across 50 miles of continental shelf before it emptied into the Ice Age Atlantic Ocean. Well, the biggest problem then is the fact that where the earliest people landed and, and started to live is now 250 feet underwater. And uh, it's really difficult to find those sites. When uh, dredging the continental shelf, occasionally uh, some of these artifacts have been found. And in particular, uh, one found right on the edge of the continental shelf was a mastodon skull, and the mastodon remains, and associated with them was a, a very nice uh, bifacial knife uh, that's similar uh, to the ones from Europe. And uh, radiocarbon dating the, the mastodon skull gave us a date of 22,000, which is just about perfect for one, the sea level, and two, the timing of the people coming uh, across the ice from Europe. There's a type of uh, DNA known as mitochondrial DNA, and uh, everybody in the world is in somehow or other related to the different types of mitochondrial DNA. North American Indians uh, have about four major uh, DNA and mitochondrial DNA lineages known as A, B, C, and D. And then there's some minor input, one of which is X, and X doesn't occur in uh, Eastern Asia. Where we see a lot of X is in North Africa, up through Spain, and even in Europe. But what's really interesting is there's a difference between the uh, high, uh, mitochondrial X in North America and that of uh, Europe. The X2 in North America is X2A, and uh, X2A is a result of a mutation that took place in the last 20,000 years, so there's a slight difference between the two. It's beginning to look like Salutrian people came from North Africa into Europe and 
223,000 years ago moved into eastern North America. And that's what the genetic data is telling us. Well, this discovery is really significant because it changes our whole uh, view of the first Americans. Uh, it pushes it back 10,000 or more years before we thought people were even here. And it indicates that they're probably coming from multiple directions, first from Europe, and then much later at the end of the Ice Age from Siberia. And it's beginning to give us a really nice picture of the mixing bowl that America has always been.